Well, it's, it's interesting because uh, <clears throat> something that's both positive and negative, and it's the same thing, I think is very interesting, is that the fact that the budgets are getting so low. And um, one of the reasons that is, is, I mean, we can speculate, but, you know, record sales are not as good, particularly in Christian music. I've noticed that uh, as the years have gone by, the budgets have gotten lower and lower and lower. And a lot, a lot more projects are being independent as, as opposed to label driven. And uh, um, it's because labels are dying, you know. It's a different world we're living in now, you know. And that's a whole nother issue. But uh, one thing that's interesting is that how low budgets uh, have has caused certain things to happen uh, that you wouldn't have seen about, you know, 10, 15 years ago is that the, the, um, the rising of the home studio being a huge integral part of the uh, the album making process now, and I'm not talking just demos. I'm talking about like master scale stuff that's going out in the market. Uh, the great the the cool side about that is that um, technology has gotten so great that we can we can, we're sitting in my home. We're in the base of my home now, and we have a, a studio with Pro Tools, and you know, and <clears throat> we make great sounding records here. Right, and I just walk downstairs and do it. But uh, the flip side of that is that. I think it takes a lot of the, um, the interaction of, of making records out of it because a producer will take their hard drive, go, come over here and we'll track bass and drums, you know, which is nice, and then he'll take his hard drive and we'll go over to the guitar player's house and he'll put his guitar parts on. Then he'll take it back home and put vocals on it with, with the artist, which is great because it's economical and you can make a record really cheap that way, but it takes away uh, the synergy of of making a record where there's five or six guys in a studio at the same time interacting and playing off of each other on a live recording date that that's what i see is not happening and that's that's the downside of everything um and i kind of miss that and i really respect the the um the producers that will take the hit out of their own pocket financially to make sure that that still happens because that's valuable you know and there, there are a lot of guys. There's, you know, there's some producers still doing that, but, um, you know, the budget sometimes are just make it impossible to do that. So.